What's up, everybody? First things first, I want to give a shout out to everyone who's joined uh, our time now in the last, uh, just let's just call it two weeks. Well, period, but especially the new members. Hello, salute to you. Uh, thank you for uh, coming over to the. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm stealing Tommy Sotomayor's words. It's just funny to me. The struggle website, all right? Because uh, some people be be cracking on the site. Oh, it ain't this. It ain't that. You know, whatever. But you know, some people love it. It's all good. I'm, it's always we're always doing upgrades on the site. You know, add more features. We got some more features coming probably in the next couple days that people should like and everything. So it's all good. But anyway. I want to talk about a couple of things. Uh, well, first things first, uh, you know, if people don't know, Our Time Now is a website built for, by, and about black people. Specifically, we are speaking about black people uh, rebuilding black families. What is a black family? A black family consists of a black man, a black woman, and black children. The only way that you get black children is you create them with a black man and or a black woman. Math is math. Uh, it's about the reunification of the relationship, the broken relationship of the black race. Black women have been the backbone of black men uh, since time immemorial. And black men has been the backbone of black women since time immemorial. We need to bring that relationship back. Uh, due to slavery, we have uh, and, and Jim Crow and integration and everything else that's been going on to us the last 500 years, uh, we've had a uh, degeneration of that uh, of that uh, 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 relationship. But the hope and the mission of our time now is to fix that relationship. We don't negate uh, the struggles of any other group or groups uh, to do whatever they deem necessary to uh, bring wholeness and oneness to their specific group or groups. And we do not uh, take lightly the disrespect of other groups or groups, groups or yeah, groups uh, trying to uh, bogard their way into our uh, space. Now, uh, the last two weeks or so has seen um, some very unique activity on our time now. Um, we've had a heavy influx of uh, non-black people uh, to try to join the site and uh, as we see it they are doing nothing but coming to cause problems and create divisions on the site this is not going to happen so they are summarily removed when we see that they are causing problems uh, we also have the LGBT movement who has taken upon itself and certain members uh, to uh, try to force their agenda onto the site. This is not going to happen. Why is it not going to happen? It's not going to happen because of the mission statement of the site, which is to reunify the black man and woman who have more black children. We are having a genocidal situation go on in America today in regards to black people. The black woman and uh, abortion numbers are too high. Anything above zero is too high. Uh, the crime rate, black on black crime is too high. Anything above zero is too high. Um, now we have uh, another situation that I'm going to talk about later, but, you know, the, 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 the legalized lynching of black men and women and children is too high. So what our time now is, is going to do is be the beacon of light at the end of the tunnel. Our time now is going to be the 
lighthouse on a stormy sea. We are the movement encased in a website. Our time now is not just the name of a website, it is a the name of a movement, a rallying cry. There is nothing stronger than saying it's our time now. That is an action. That is a verb. That is an action verb. It is an action is saying that we are going to and we are doing something. So make no mistake. Our time now will be the movement that people will be coming to when they want to speak to us about our issues. They're going to have to knock on our door and we will only allow those who we deem necessary to move our agenda forward to come in and speak to us. Now, speaking about the lynching of black people, we've had yet another lynching of a brother in Louisiana yesterday, I believe it was. Murdered in cold blood on video. The police's uh, body cameras supposedly just fell off. Videotapes from the store were confiscated immediately. And uh, the investigation was an internal one. Why was it internal? Because obviously you got to make sure that everybody's story is straight. It's kind of hard to sit there and say that a man was grabbing for a gun when you got two people laying on top of him, pinning him down, and you can point blank shoot him in the chest. But we see how these devils operate. You know, when you can do a drive-by on, on a 12-year-old in an open carry state in Tamir Rice. How you can choke to death a black man selling loose cigarettes on the sidewalk while he's saying, I can't breathe a number of times in Eric Garner. And let's not forget the whole reason that the whole videotape thing even started with Rodney King. You can beat a man like a dog. Worse than a dog, because they don't even allow dogs to be beat like that. But you can beat a man like an animal and get away with it. I'm under no mental reservation to believe that America has anything good coming for black people in regards to this situation. Even the sister, uh, Miss Mosby, in Baltimore is uh, under investigation. They want to disbar her because she's doing her job trying to put criminals in jail. Five, six cops in a van with one man and somehow he's not only the only one injured, he's the, he has a 80% severed spine at the neck and nobody knows nothing. This is a criminal country. This, we, we, we have a criminal government. Edward Snowden is in exile because he revealed the bullshit that they were doing and they put him and he ran to Russia. But Hillary Clinton, the FBI says that what she did was criminal but won't, fa but won't face any charges and she's running for the highest office in the land. If you can allow a criminal to be in the White House, why can't you allow criminals to get out of jail? Oh yeah, because they're only niggas. You see, niggas don't have rights. And when I say niggas, I mean anybody with melanated skin. You, it don't matter if you are Michael Jordan, or Michael Johnson, you still a nigga. It's only a matter of time before you get your nigga wake up call. I got my nigga wake up call when I was about 13, 14 years old, going to school around white people, going to a, going to a little Indian quickie mart. And I got arrested 
because I supposedly assaulted the owner when they grabbed me and I tried to get away from the owner because I was only a child and I had three adults grabbing on me and I accidentally hit the woman in the face. So the only thing they can get me for, because they couldn't say I was stealing because I didn't have nothing on me, so they got me for assaulting her. They just wanted to get me in the system. I suppose I had six months of uh, probation when I was 15. I stayed on it till I was 17 and a half. The justification was the judge didn't want to let me go for whatever reasons. I can't even remember what they were at this time because remember, I was, you know, I was only 15. But they kept me on probation just to get me in, the, keep me in the system, hoping that I would, I would get out. I would do something so they could put me in jail. But I was smarter than them because I didn't get in trouble. But be that as it may, we are at war, people. If you didn't know, we are at war. And if you didn't know, you need to figure it out real quick. Your non-black friends are not your friends. They're just watching you, making sure that they can find the good niggas. Because you good niggas are going to be the ones that uh, they're going to have working in the house because they can trust you. For the rest of us, field hands, if we ain't dead, they're going to uh, have us working out in the fields. I don't plan on working on the fields. So... This brings me back full circle again to our time now. I implore you, I beg you, I plead with you, I appeal to your decency and humanity to join our time now. Let's give these, de these devils what they, what they want or what they don't want. See, we're not going to win a, a uh, bullet fight because we ain't got enough guns, but we can win an economic fight. We can start by getting up off of their social media sites. I ain't going to say their names because they might say that I'm trying to defame their businesses, but you know who they are. You know, the books and the, uh, the camera, camera uh, website and, you know, the little bird website. You know, and uh, the clap, clap, talk uh, website. Where you post a little videos and whatnot. We need to get up off those videos, those websites. We they we make them so much money. I don't know how much uh, uh, that other site makes per click, but just 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 roll with me real quick. Hundred thousand black people. They got a hundred, one click, get them a dollar, just say. That's $100,000. We click probably 3,000 times. You do the math. Just say you click 3,000 times in a day. You, you don't know how many times you're clicking because, I mean, you're clicking, you're scrolling, you, 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 you're conversing, you, you, you're doing all of this other stuff, so you're making them money. Just say 300. You can click 300 times a day. 300 times 100,000. Is a lot of money. That's a hundred thousand black people. Now you now they have a billion. They have a billion members. Now all of them ain't black, but just say just say for argument's sake, twenty million of them are black. Twenty million times one click. That's twenty million dollars a day. Facebook's making a lot of money off us, and they won't even give us jobs. So, I I I hope that you know you join our time now. Let's get this army going. Let's get these people crushed. And let's get our uh, revolution started. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's our time now.